the garden. Um, it, it, I don't know how many of you have been here before or seen this before or know anything about this, so I'll spend just a little bit of time giving you some history. And then I have uh, four students here, one that's currently involved in the summer class and then three alum from past classes. And, and if you're interested and want to know more, they can give phenomenal tours of not only what we have going on down here in the, the hoop house, but also we got some very exciting, cool stuff going on up in the greenhouse. And uh, Nathan is here, um, who also headed up the solar panel installation project. And so he can talk about that and where that's going to be and how that's going to fit into all of this. So we'd love for you to stick around after this amazing mural and also get a little bit of a tour and history of the garden. But to kind of give you a quick overview, um, this is about nine years old. It started uh, roughly as a brainchild out of one of my classes. Um, it was one of those perfect teaching moments where we were talking about sustainable agriculture and a young lady raised her hand and said, you know, hey, this is cool, why aren't we doing this? And I said, well, we are, we're doing it all over the place. And she said, no, why aren't we doing it? Right. And so it was a Friday afternoon and the bell rang and I went home, I thought about it a little bit and I came back and said, well, you know what, we can, we can do a raised bed, we'll grow some carrots and, you know, it'd be a neat experience. And they all kind of looked at me like I was lame because that's not what we had been describing for so long. Um, so I made the mistake or the right decision to say, well, what do you guys have in mind? And they spent two entire days talking about this. And at the end of the two days, I was absolutely blown away. And I'm like, you know, looking at the watch as teachers do it. So we got to move on. You know, this has been really cool. And the hand goes up again and goes, well, wait a minute. You know, we didn't waste time talking about this. We're going to do it, right? And I said, well, you know, I've, I've got a budget for this. I don't have a budget for what you described. And, and they said, well, how do we get money? And I said, you know, you'd have to like write a grant or something. Twelve hands went up. I said, we'll write a grant. So they wrote a grant, and it was the best piece of student work I've ever seen across the board. It was phenomenal. Um, it got denied. So Real World came in and said, you got this problem and this problem. Um, the two problems that were identified was, number one, the deer will eat you up. Right? The second problem was what happens over the summer. So I said, you know, guys, I'm really proud of you. This is great. we got to move on. Hands went up and said, we can solve those problems. So I gave them 24 hours. They came back, and they said, here's the fence we need. It needs to be this high. It needs to be this big, it needs to be this type. We've looked around, this is how much it's gonna cost. Um, you know, we need this. And I said, well, what about the summer thing? And they said, you're gonna teach a class on sustainable agriculture over the summer. <laughs> I don't know anything about sustainable agriculture. And you know, last time I gardened, I was this big. Um, both of those things have come to attrition. I actually went to the district, I showed them, I said, look how cool this is. They looked at it and they said, what do you need? And I said, we need a fence. So they wrote a check for the fence. From then, we submitted the grants, kind of changed the idea of what we're going to do over the summer, and we started getting grant money coming in. So what you see around here, the vast majority of it is from grants, donations, garbage picking. The fence that you're eating underneath was sitting in the trash somewhere, and my students went and got it. So um, you know, we pieced it together that way, and we're not quite where their vision was at the end of two, you know, that two days period of time, but we're getting close. And the young students that you see here today, they're the reason why this is actually happening. I just get to transition from year to year to year to year. But, I mean, they do the beds, they plant the flowers, they harvest the flowers, they, they do it all. Um, so I'd like to give them a big round of applause, too. If they, my guy, uh, Marissa right here, she did And then she did, you got to check out what she did in the greenhouse. It's phenomenal. Um, for a young lady who had never actually even used a saw before, what she's got done in there is, is amazing. And then you got Brenton, um, who's worked in the garden as well. And then you got Lania right here, and Cortez, who's in the garden this summer right now. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, we are really excited about this, and I think it fits with the garden perfectly. Thanks, Jim. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't really have to explain too much. I just, I, I want to thank everybody for uh, taking the time, for, for one, for being engaged in, in your kids' lives. Um, as Jim mentioned, this is all about the kids. The kids have designed this mural. They painted the mural. Um, I hung it, but other than that, <laughs> um, the kids have done everything. And you know, I think this it turned out to be a perfect uh, location for this garden, and or for the mural in the garden. Um, we look around; everything here is growing. It's colorful. I think this mural is, reflects growth. I think it, you know, it's summertime. Everything's growing. Everything's in full bloom. And I think the kids have noticed um, that things do happen. And, and they, they saw this mural come out of nothing and grow into something beautiful. And I think at the end of the day, uh, projects like this, communities like this, we, we grow in more than in, in one way. We might grow more compassionate towards one another. We might grow in kindness. We might 
watch other people's growth. So th there's a lot to learn in these murals, in these camps, in garden projects, other than just the, the technical skills of how to do things. Um, so I don't want to take too much of your time because this is what we're here for. Are you guys ready? Don't go yet. <laughs> we can all count from 10 to, to zero, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, go. 10, 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 